Hello. In this video, we're going to have a look at this Boolean algebra question from June 2011, Comp 2. If you're watching this video because you feel like you need to work on your Boolean algebra skills, I'd strongly recommend that you have a go at this question yourself before you continue watching. Please pause the video now so you can have a go at it yourself. Alright, let's go through this together. Just before we start though, I just want to remind you that Boolean algebra questions can be answered in all sorts of different ways. So even if you haven't done things exactly the same way as I do, that doesn't mean you would get it wrong. That's what probably makes these questions so difficult. Okay, let's start. Whenever I start tackling these sorts of questions, the first thing I look for is big, long, straight lines along the tops of terms that indicate to me that I can have a go at using De Morgan's law. That's because usually that, that rule is the best one to start with for simplifying your Boolean algebra expressions. So I can see that there are two here, one above the a and b term, and one above the a and not b term. In this particular question, it doesn't matter which order we do those in. I'm just going to go for the left one first. All right, so break the line and change the sign. Not A or not B. I'm going to keep those brackets in just in case they're needed later. Okay, leave everything else the same. And as always with Boolean algebra questions, it's really important that you annotate what steps you're using as you go along so that when you go back to check your answers later, you can check each step to against what you've claimed to have done. I'll make it much easier to check these. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and do the other De Morgans now. So right up we've got so far, and then we've got break the line and change the sign, not A or not not B. And that's another step of De Morgans. Okay, the next step might not be so obvious, you might not have noticed this, but we now don't have any more AND gates left, we only have OR gates. So we've got not A or B, OR, OR. When we have all terms connected by the same type of gate, even if there might be brackets, we can use associativity and commutativity to reshuffle the order of those terms however we like. And I'm going to do just that. I'm going to reorder these so that they make more sense. So I'm going to put the not A's together, and I'm going to put the not B with the not not B. And I'm going to annotate this one as associativity and commutativity. I'm sure you're probably screaming at the, at the screen about this double negative, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one now. Not not B becomes B because of double negation. Okay, now hopefully we can start to see some opportunities for using identities to appear. And uh, one of the first ones I'm going to go with is the not A or not A, and that's going to use the rule that anything ORD with itself is just itself. We can simplify those duplicates there. So that becomes not A or not A or B. Now I'm going to have a look at the B, B terms. Uh, I'm going to use the identity that anything ORD with not of itself is 1. This is like saying either B is true or B is not true. Well, obviously, that's always going to be the case, right? So that's why the answer is true there. Not A or 1 for true. And the final identity we can use here is that 1 ORD with anything is 1. Um, so it's like saying true or not A. Well, it doesn't matter what the other thing is because true is always true. And so we've got 1 here. Okay, so as I said, this is just the way I'm doing things. You might have done things slightly more complicated or maybe simpler or in a slightly different way, uh, but one is the correct final answer here. And when you're doing these questions, it's really important that you make it very clear to the examiner what your final answer is. You might want to double underline, put it in a box, put an arrow to it saying, this is the answer. Especially if you made a few mistakes along the way and you've got loads of crossings out, it's really important that you make it clear what your final answer is because there is a mark available always for the correct answer. Alright, hopefully this video has been helpful for this particular question in Boolean Algebra.